let me talk about the story so far when it comes to level one of this of this uh, workshop. Level one, what we did was we created a bunch of microservices. We created specifically three microservices and had them talk to each other. We created an application which is kind of like Goodreads, kind of like IMDb, which is basically people being able to save the movies that they have watched and rate them, all right? So I can go to the system and say, uh, I have seen these five movies last year and then this is how I rate these five movies. And uh, you should be able to go call an API and get back that movie information and the ratings for a particular user, all right? That's basically how it goes. So when I, when I make a call for my user ID, it should return, okay, these are the five movies you watched. Uh, this is the information, this is the title, this is the description, and uh, this is the movie rating, right? Simple stuff. And what we also did was we used the discovery server, we used Eureka as a technology to have the services talk to each other. We basically broke it down into three microservices. We had the movie info service, which is basically a service which takes in a movie ID and returns that movie information. You give it an ID 100 and it would say, hey, this 100 is this particular movie. Here is the title, here is the description, and that's that's all that the movie for service was doing. The ratings data service was something that stored the user's rating, right? We had hard coded it because we didn't want to do all the database stuff and all that. We didn't want to sidetrack from the microservice architecture stuff. Uh, so it was no database connectivity per se, it was just a hard coded list of uh, uh, movie IDs and rating, which everybody gets, right? So it's like movie ID one, rating three, movie ID two, rating five, right? So it's just hard coded list and it would return that. And then the movie catalog service was like the main service, kind of like the entry point for uh, somebody who's calling it, right? The movie catalog service would be like, go get, call the ratings data service and say, okay, get me all the movies that this guy has rated, right? It would get back the movie ID and the rating. And then for each movie ID there, it would call the movie info service and say, get me the information about this movie. So if you had rated two movies, you would get those two movie information, kind of bundle them together into one response, then send it back. So the user would see, the movie ID, the movie name, the movie description, and what the user has rated. Kind of like a consolidated uh, response, right? This is what we did so far. So if you missed uh, level one, this is what you missed. You have missed how to have these, how to stand up these different microservices using Spring Boot, kind of start from the scratch, and uh, how to have a discovery server, the Eureka server, to have them talk to each other. So the movie catalog service is the one service which is doing all the communication, right? It's calling the movie info service and it's calling the ratings data service. So um, it was using Eureka to get the address, make a call, get the response, and then coordinate, orchestrate everything, and then return back the response. This is what we did, okay? So uh, I'm gonna show you the, the code that goes with it. So I have uh, the discovery server here, uh, which is uh, the Eureka server. Let me start that up. And uh, we have three separate projects here on the left. You can see the movie catalog service, the movie info service, and the ratings data service. The Eureka service starts up at port 8761. So what I can technically do is access the Eureka dashboard at localhost colon 8761. Now, how does it get 8761? That is in application.properties. I have set server.port as 8761 for Eureka. And that's why Eureka registers with that port. And that is the discovery server, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is quickly start up all these other services, the movie catalog service, uh, which is like the main service which, which orchestrates the other things. So all I need to do to start a service is to just uh, run the application class, Java class, just run the main method. And uh, I'm gonna do that for these two services as well, the movie info service and the ratings data service. Okay, now that we've got all these three services running, what I can do is access Eureka, which is what I'm gonna do. So here's Eureka dashboard, localhost 8761. And uh, if I scroll down, here you see there are three services registered. You also have a bunch of information over here, and uh, I'm not gonna go over all that stuff, but it basically gives you like a snapshot of how all your services are doing, and uh, it um, provides some handy information.
all right? So this is where we left off the previous workshop. We had all these things available and then we kind of learned how service discovery works. We kind of talked about a bunch of concepts, which I think is important, which is another reason why you should, uh, you should take a look at it.